just grating up some more apple and carrot for brunch. I know I may be getting a bit obsessive about the flavours of carrot and apple, but on the other hand, if that's what I like, then hey, you know, why not? I'm using a different grater this time, of course, but the other one's in the washing up bowl, waiting for me to boot up the Kelly kettle, get some hot water going. So here we go. Grating is one great way of increasing the surface area of the food, therefore making it easier to digest rather than just munching straight on a raw carrot. Just the way things are, you know. If you prepare any meals, you then got to do the washing up. But I got one of these things, so I'm going to do it with free power. Yeah, you're going to have to forgive the noise of chainsaws in the background. Yeah, it is traditional. I got some alcohol I'm going to set fire to. And I got a bag full of paper I'm going to burn. I'm going to try and set it up in a different way. Try two different ignition methods. First, you're just scrunching up the um, balls of paper and shoving them in and putting a flame to it and seeing whether it catches. And secondly, I'll use the alcohol just to give it a bit of a boost if necessary. Okay, so here we go. Time to go a bit pyro. We'll see how quickly we can get it done. We're getting somewhere. Leave on the first spot. We've got some heat going out there, keeping the flame going. Requires lots of little balls of paper going in to keep the ignition going. We use a bit of alcohol and quickly boost it and then take it from that point. Kettle's getting quite hot. You can't see smoke because it's all flame. Okay. Uh, one quarter or a half A4 pieces of paper scrunched into loose balls and dropped down the chimney seems to work best. Now she's boiling. Based upon waste paper, and cigarette lighters, and one minuscule scrap of paper about that big dipped in alcohol just to boost it when it needed it. go get that nice and clean get that nice and clean and everything else that I've got stocked up here on environmentally friendly damn near zero cost fuel okay living off grid at home and yeah, now as you can see that was actually quite a big washing up load okay uh, the water has got rather cold towards the end of the washing up session of course and of course if you're inadvertently adding cold from the tap uh, whilst you're rinsing stuff off, then basically, you know, the water temperature is going to go down quite a lot. So the technique is therefore to do like the more heavily soil things basically earlier on. If you're only using one Kelly kettle's worth of energy, what I could have done is got one of the bioethanol stoves going, and then I could have had more hot water going on the boil whilst I'm getting through this lot. Okay? I didn't do that. But I guess my main message is like when the weather isn't too ghastly, what are you doing? burning gas <laughs> seriously what are you doing burning gas turning on the electric to get hot water for your washing up I mean if you look outside in weather like this all right just just think about it what is the point in burning gas in weather like this you can get out you can use a kelly kettle if you've got solar set up you can use the ambient solar energy what is the point in burning extra fossil fuels and on top of that, the cost, you know. A little bit of inconvenience is so much more commonsensical at times, you know. It really is. Just think about it. 